Time to get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw outside the line. Hi everybody, it's Liani from Stampalate. I'm here to show you today on how to make a neat little bag using the gift bag punch board, which is a new punch board in the catalog. Okay, the standard bags that this one makes are these two here. This is the small bag. And this one here is the large bag. This is going according to the sizes that you get told in your instructions with your board that comes along. You can vary the height of your bags depending on the size of the piece of cardstock that you start with. These two both start with pieces that are 6 inches and this one's by 12 and this one's by 10. Now if you were to say do it 10 inches by 12 inches then you'd get a much taller bag that way. Okay, It's even got in the top the little punch to put your holes in the top so that's that's really handy too. Okay so I'll just pop those out of the way and I'll just show you the bag that we're going to make today. So this is the bag that we are making today. Okay and it has a little flap that folds over and it's just secured there by magnets. Okay so that's that's your little bag so that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started. I'm just going to pull our stylus out and I'm going to pop our punch board in there. Okay, the piece of paper that I'm using today is from the English Garden Designer Series paper pack which is really lovely. It's got lots of pretty flowers and watercolour type paper. Okay, so we're just going to line it up. I'll just show you the three bags you just use depending on which size that you've started with. You've got your small, medium and large lines to do your scoring there. Plus you've got your get gusset here, all right, which you'll do every alternate piece. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So you're going to pop your card piece of paper in or card stock and you're going to slide it all the way up so it's buffered along the top. Okay, and then we're going to score across the top and we're going to score down the large side because that's the size we're using for our bag. All right, and punch. Okay, and then you're going to slide along. That last score line there that you've just done for the large size, you're going to slide that along. There's a little notch here that you probably can't see in the video and you just line that up with your score line. Okay, and then you're going to punch again. Across the top. Now you're doing the side now of your bag. So you want to do your gusset. So there's your side line. There's your centre line to go up your bag. And your gusset part. Okay, now the board is not as long as your piece of 12 by 12, so therefore we're going to have to use something else a little bit later to put the, um, the rest of the score lines in, but I'll show you how to do that. So now we're going to move that along to that last score line we made on the side line, and we're going to punch, score across the top, and then we're going to do our large score line again. Now with using designer series paper, in this board do not press too hard because if you press too hard it's actually going to tear the paper when you go to do your um, burnishing and stuff like that so I'm going to move that along okay I'm going to punch again score across the top and we're just going to do our side, last side line and gusset another line for there okay now I just want to move this along just to that last side line there just to punch for the left side of the flap okay so that turns out like so okay so I'm just going to move the scoreboard to the side for now I'm going to get my simply scored I'm going to line this up now some of this will not be will not be in the camera but you'll get the gist of what I'm going to do. I'm just buffering that across the top there. Now what I want to do is I want to continue those score lines right down to the end of the page. So all I have to do is find myself a groove where that score line is and then just continue down the end. Right, I'm not, there's no measurements for this because 
your score lines vary. Okay, so you just move it along until you've got the groove of your scoreboard matching up with your score line that you've already made. Okay, and just when you do score it, just make sure that the, um, the flaps are buffered along the top. Okay, then what you're going to do, you're just going to rotate that. Buffer that down along the left hand side and along the top and then go score at eight and a half inches all the way down. Okay, eight and a half. Alright, now that's all we need the scoreboard for. So now you've got the whole sheet has been scored. And I'm just going to bring my punch board back in for a second because I want to do the these little tabby pieces I want to do across the top on two sections so it's that first full piece in the middle not the one on the side but the one that's got the gussets on each side of it if that makes sense okay so I'm going to do one here and we are going to do one here Okay, so that's all we need that for. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our handy dandy scissors. I love these scissors, they're so good, so sharp. Good for ribbon too, awesome. I'm just going to take a notch off there. Okay, and I'm going to do a notch up into this piece here. Right. Now this piece here is going to be the flap that goes over the front, so we need to cut from here down to that score line and back then here down to the score line and straight across okay so I'll just flip that around to do that now if you're having problems seeing on the white I find if you turn it over, you see the score lines a lot better on the dark side. On the dark side. Just pull that there. And then I'll just snip along that score line up to the other one. And then back this way. It's a bit of a tidy up. Okay, just push those out of the way. And then what you need to do, you just need to burnish your score lines. Like so. On your side pieces. Okay, so then. Okay, so now on this piece here, we're just on this piece, which is what I call the, the seam of the bag. I don't know what everybody else calls it, but that's what I call it. I'm just going to run my fuzz fuse along right. and then just slide that down to seal that up and then I'm just going to lift these two flaps back because I want to put some adhesive along there all right now with your fast fuse you, you've all watched the video haven't you so you know that when you go to finish you have to actually cut the adhesive with an action so you just go up 
to the right or you can pull it towards you as well whichever way works best for you okay now box you don't want anything a bit crooked so just pop your hand back inside just to get that to, to bond there okay and then we're just going to press in at the sides so remember our score lines didn't go all the way up okay and then this piece will fold over like that and that is your bag and here's one that I did before and I've decorated okay you just pop your magnets in inside your lid like so to seal it up and there's this one that's all decorated for you this one uses the um, birthday blossom stamp set which is a really really pretty set to have as well and the banner's got the um, the wood grain textured embossing folder on it with with your doily and your um, calypso coral circle there for your for your different layers okay so that's my little gift over gift over fold over gift bag um, if you would like the tutorial for this the written tutorial I'm giving it away to anybody that purchases the gift box punch board from me with some little instructions and you'll also get the new tutorial that's coming next week as well which is quite cute okay thanks for stopping by hey if you want to play make it about a place it'll take creation imagination try to draw outside